what's a two by two matrix R that rotates every vector by 90 degrees. Uh, let's think through this so we don't have to memorize anything. So what it's saying is uh, if I have a vector with two components, uh, let's say x, y, so this is my original x, y, so this is my original vector or column vector and I need to rotate this by 90 degrees so uh, so let's say so this is 90 I remember, when, I remember hearing all these names in that, in that other uh... okay so now my column vector will be up here okay so what happened here now remember we're keeping uh, the same magnitude here so what happened here is uh, notice uh, that uh, uh, the uh, uh, the x uh, became the y because if if this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis and just assume for simplicity that that so my that, like a image that the, my vector lies like the, uh, on the x-axis. Uh, then it's gonna rotate 90 degrees so it's gonna become on the y-axis so so the x component uh, let's write this here so we have an x and a y and uh, uh, we're gonna multiply this by a matrix where the result is uh, so the x becomes the y uh, and uh, notice that uh, if I'm rotating the y 90 degrees so now the y will go here so now so this is 90 degrees so the x becomes the y and then the y 90 degrees and it becomes here so this is the minus x and so the question goes uh, what is it that multiply this by to get the y minus x and now that's uh, easy to figure it out uh, well I need a rotation matrix, a two by two rotation matrix uh, that generates, uh, that gives me a y here. So which means I need to multiply the y by one and the x by zero. So when I do matrix multiplication, row times column, I would get zero x plus one y and that would get me a y on, on the result. And now I need the y to go away. So the y needs to multiply zero and the x needs to become a minus x, so I need to multiply it by minus 1. So this is my rotation matrix 90 degrees. And so from this first figure here, what I was trying to show you is that the components of my new matrix, uh, of my new vector, so if this is V, and this is V prime, uh, you could see that my X component uh, had became uh, the, oops, what the hell is that? Uh, <laughs> some bug just flew on here. Uh, so, uh, so this be became a minus X and a Y uh, to get the vector V1, it's rotated uh, uh, so I could go uh, Y, um, uh, uh, y and, and minus x and uh, if I do it from here that you could see that that would get me so this is a y and this is a minus x and that would get me v prime the vector that's rotated by 90 degrees okay so for the uh, 2 by 2 uh, matrix that rotates every vector by 180 degrees uh, for part b uh, so, uh, you know, if you have a vector, uh, think about it. If you have uh, a vector in the xy plane, and uh, let's say this is the vector, v, and I need to rotate it 180 degrees. So uh, if this was in quadrant 1, now it needs to reflect to quadrant 3 because 180 degrees is this. And... And so what happened here uh, is uh, 
Oh, you're not connected? Yeah. You could connect if you want. Uh, the password is 7535. So if I rotate it 180 degrees, uh, you could see that uh, my X component, which used to be this, it's now switched. It's now minus X. So that means uh, my rotation matrix, I need to multiply the X component by minus one, and then I need to zero my Y and uh, what used to be my y component here also switched down to the third quadrant so now i need to multiply my y my y component by minus one and zero my x so this would be my 180 degree rotation matrix from v to v prime Right for the yeah for the three by three is is slightly uh, will need a little bit of more analysis.